Hello guys, welcome again. Thanks for being here. Uh, today let's see how to do this uh, tulip sleeve with a gather at the top, as you can see. The tulip sleeve is a sleeve divided into two pieces. Uh, as you can see he, here, from A to B, and this curved line, it's, this means one piece. And this on this side, from A to C, we have the other piece. And I will show you how to give the flared the volume here at the top of our sleeve, exactly here, to do the gather on our sleeve. The gather on this sleeve, it's only uh, here at the top of this sleeve. If you want to do your um, sleeve flat, you can do it flat without the gather. Uh, always, when we are working with sleeves, we start with a basic sleeve in order to do this transformation we want for another kind of sleeves and it's exactly what we were going to do now as you can see here on my design this sleeve start exactly away a little bit away from our elbow line exactly here and i will do exactly this size shown at the picture but if you want, you can, you can do it with the length you want. Normally, on this kind of sleeve, you need to be able to move your arms. And we will add uh, uh, extra inches from both sides, on the back side and the under the front side. This will give you uh, extra volume, volume to move our arms. I will go with uh, my pattern. I will start on this way. As I told you, we will go away from our elbow. I will do it a bit uh, away. And this means about two and a half inches if you want to do this uh, sleeve with this measure. I have my line where I want the length of my sleeve. And now I will copy again this sleeve with my new size to do the transformation have the length I want for this sleeve. I have my point A, B and C and now let's cut to give the gather exactly here at the top of the sleeve. I will cut from here from my point A till the center till the line of our armpit. Like so. And now I will cut from the center till point B. Let's do the same on this, this side. And now we are ready to give the volume we want at the top of our sleeve. Our next step is line up the center of our sleeve as I have here. You can see here a line. I will glue my, my sleeve. And now we can give the volume we want here at the top. You can give about three centimeters on each side, three centimeters on the, the back side and three centimeters in front. You will have an extra of six centimeter fabric here 
at the top of your sleeve. Now we can redraw the head of our sleeve and we have the extra volume to, to do this gather tulip sleeve. The next step is to design the lines we have here, but first let's head at the side of our sleeve about two centimeters to give, um, give you extra movement for your arms. Two centimeters on each side. like so and now we can do the lines the tulip petals design now we can do the tulip petals your pattern may look like this one and now it's time to copy these two individual pieces one from a uh, point a b and the curve it's one piece and the other piece is from a till point c the side and the curve and you will have these two pieces this one which belongs to front matching like like so and this one matching to back. Uh, you may uh, mark you, on your or your pieces the notches that will match your your sleeves exactly where where the start the pattern from behind. Okay, the notches are important. And uh, if you want to use grain line, you may mark the grain line. But uh, this kind of sleeve, these uh, tulip sleeves, is nice to be cut in bias. Looks nice as well. 